Hello and good morning. Welcome back to Simply Greg's 3V. Today you join us at our house with our very frozen Mini Cooper Electric. It's been parked outside for roughly the last 10 days. And let's see what it's like when you deep freeze your EV for a long period of time. Let's get into it. So as you see, the uh, Mini is frozen. It's been parked outside for roughly about 10 days already. We've been gone on our trip for around 10 days and it's been brutally cold here in Montreal for most of that period. Actually, it should be around minus 15 now, but it's been extremely cold. The car hasn't moved since we parked it, I believe last Thursday, towards the end of January is, is when we parked it. So it's been out here and hasn't been touched. We've had a bit of a snowstorm. My recycling bin is over, but yeah, there's been no no movement on the car whatsoever. Uh, so this is not one of those fake setup barn finds. The car has legitimately uh, has not moved, as you can tell by the piled up snow around it. Normally, I would leave it plugged in and precondition, but I figured this would be a good test to see a very long deep freeze cycle on an EV. I know when. I parked it it was roughly it was at 65 percent state of charge that's what it was showing so let's get into the car we'll we'll unlock it and we'll we'll get in and we'll see how cold it is yeah that was frozen that was ice okay let's do the first start let's hit the start button we'll turn off the radio yeah it's lost it's lost quite a bit of capacity. It was at 65% state of charge when we parked it. And I actually screenshotted the app. We're at minus 14 Celsius, probably closer to uh, minus 20 actually. I don't know how accurate the um, temperature gauge is. Um, yeah, the e-power, e-power is uh, not good on here. So this is your power gauge on the car. So this battery pack is absolutely frozen. But what we're going to do is we're going to put the car scanner on it and we're actually going to get a proper battery pack temperature as I will start unthawing the car. So yeah, we so we got car scanner plugged in. Uh, cell temperature is at minus 14 Celsius. This battery pack is absolutely frozen. As I said, it's been parked here for um, around 10 days. It's been parked outside since we've been going down south. We took a cruise down to the Caribbean uh, again e-power available there's going to this car is going to have no power and all evs are like this we'll, we'll get into that later until the battery cells start warming up uh, 35 percent state of charge i've started warming up the car we're gonna go take it on a little drive but first i gotta clean all this snow off the uh, car but this battery pack is absolutely frozen it hasn't been plugged in and we've actually dropped roughly 30% state of charge since I last parked it. So as I said, I'll get the car cleaned off and we'll go on a drive. We got the car cleaned off. It's a bit warm inside. Let's take it for a drive and see what the performance figures are like. Uh, Cause I, it, this battery is really, really cold. So there's not going to be a lot of power until the battery pack warms up, but that's something we'll talk about at the end. My face is frozen. It's like minus 15 or minus 20 outside. Let's get in the car and we'll take it for a uh, quick drive. I'm going to apologize if, if there's any um, crackling noises. That's from my jacket. I normally don't wear this enormous winter jacket, but today I am. So we'll put it into drive. We're in drive. We've already dropped down to a 34% state of charge. I am absolutely frozen. All right, let's drive off with the car. Oh boy, there's some snow. So far, so good. Nothing, nothing to report here. But basically what this gauge is on the um, Mini, it's a uh, power gauge. It shows you the available power that's ready and this battery pack is freezing cold as we've already seen. So we'll get out onto the road over here. What we'll do is we'll take it for a little drive and we'll see if that battery pack temperature, how fast it starts coming up. So yeah, this is full throttle. My foot's on the floor, not bad, but the brakes are rusty. So I'll take it for about a five minute drive. What's it now, 10.54? We'll check back in at around 11. And we'll see if that battery pack temperature has started coming up already. I'll check back in. Well, it's 11 p.m. It's been about five or six minutes since we left the house. Uh, still showing a bit of a um, reduced power output, but the battery temperature is starting to come up. I'll pull over and I'll point that out. 
but no issues here. I mean, there is, I'm foot on the floor right now, but the speed is still climbing. So it's not, it's not out of the ordinary. What it reminds me of is, do you remember back in the day when you had a carbureted car and you had to pump the gas pedal a few times for it to start? That's kind of what it reminds me of. And even gas cars in general, in the cold, you have to warm them up. The gearboxes don't like being cold. The engines don't like being cold. Nothing likes being cold. This is proper cold here, but everything is working fine. Everything's working fine. I had full heat in the car within a minute or two. I had full heat. It's nice and warm in here at 23, but everything is, everything is good. Maybe the SOC is coming down really, really quick because the car wasn't plugged in and uh, preconditioning, so the battery pack is extremely cold, but no, everything is good. And even in modern gas cars, I mean, I'm, I'm a mechanic. I've been a mechanic for 20 years all, already. Uh, you're not going to have full turbocharger boost until the engine is at proper operating temperature. You're not going to have full power. So we'll continue here for about maybe over 10 or 15 minutes and we'll see what the battery pack warmed up to. But everything's all right in here. I just pulled over here. Uh, just to give you the update. So we've been driving for what, 20 minutes already or so? We've been driving, let's say 20, 25 minutes. Uh, the e-power has started coming up. It's over 50%. Uh, but in my experience of this car, it will probably get to about 60% uh, and stay there only because it's so brutally cold outside. It's minus 15. But after about 15, 20 minutes of driving, the battery pack temperature really started to uh, come up. So that's kind of normal, but that happens on gas cars as well, where you have to warm up your fluids, you have to warm up your drivetrain. So that's actually pretty good. But what sucks is that, well, obviously you lose capacity and the state of charge has been coming down quite quick, quite uh, quickly. So we'll jump out here and I'll give you some um, final thoughts and just general advice about uh, long-term storage and driving your EV in the winter. You could definitely operate an EV in the winter time. Uh, I keep mentioning this where it just, you have to keep the battery warm constantly. That's why, Preconditioning is so important, but also having your EV plugged into your house. If you do, if you are lucky enough, I should say, to have home charging, keep it plugged in. Do 15, 20, 25 minute preconditioning cycle, depending on your car. I know here in the Mini, it will run for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, the battery preconditioning. It's really important to get that first start of the day to have the battery nice and hot. It's going to help you throughout the course of, of the uh, day to have it nice and hot, especially if you're a rideshare driver or, or going on a long trip. But I realize there's a lot of people that don't have home charging and can't plug in at home. So maybe keep it at a higher state of charge. And as for uh, storage outside in the winter time, I think I would maybe go a bit higher. I had this car at, um, had it 65% state of charge before we left. And as I said, we've been gone about 10 days. So it's dropped 30% state of charge in 10 days. And that has to do with, well, one battery capacity when it's cold outside is much lower. Two, the car is somewhat trying to keep the battery warm. The BMS is trying to balance things out. Normally I would have the car always plugged in outside. Uh, the other uh, EVR, Fiat 500 is parked in, inside the garage now. But yeah, I mean, you definitely operating an EV in the winter time is uh, not a problem. It's much like a, a internal combustion car where you just have to let the battery warm up, but the battery does come up the temperature. So yeah, definitely zero issues. This car was parked outside for 10 days and we didn't have any issues other than we lost 30% state of charge in those 10 days. But that could have been, as I said, remedied by having the car plugged in or having it stored at a higher state of charge or if the outside temperature wasn't as cold as it's been here in in the Montreal it would have been absolutely fine uh, but yeah tips for for winter EV driving as I said precondition 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 as much as you can as often as you can even if you could plug in at work precondition your car before you leave anywhere it will save you and yeah there are downsides of driving EVs in winter time this car here is equipped with a heat pump so it's pretty efficient uh, batteries lose capacity in the cold. The air resistance is, is much higher. Uh, wintertime sucks even for gas cars. I mean, I've been working on cars for professionally for 20 years already. And wintertime is absolutely brutal. This is when we see the most no starts. Um, alternators fail. 
suspension parts fail because everything's just frozen solid so yeah it's it's no it's not any it's not any i would say in an ev it's probably actually a bit better to drive in the winter time because you get instant heat you have heat within a minute or two here and, and don't forget in gas cars as well just because you have hot temperatures on the inside doesn't mean the engine is completely warmed up because oil takes a lot longer to warm up especially on modern engines where they have oil coolers they have massive oil coolers and even you have these vacuum operated thermostats where they're going for all this maximum efficiency so you'll see you'll see oil temps be actually significantly lower after 20 or 30 minutes of driving versus coolant because the coolant warms up much faster but I think I would still take an EV any day of the week. I think this was an interesting test. Stored outside, 10 days, got in it, drove off right away. And uh, that was it. So if you made it this far, uh, please think about liking and subscribing. Hope you enjoyed this one. Um, sorry for about being pretty tired. We got back pretty late last night from uh, Florida. And uh, we'll see you in the next film. Bye for now.